Yeah, so well, we're dealing with the training series, and in today's video, we'll talk about how to add events for your church website. Like we discussed in previous videos, when you logged into the back end of your website, putting the URL in your username and password, and you click on login. That takes you to that takes you to the back end of your website so that you can start um, making updates to your website. Yeah. So just wait for it to load. Wait for it to load. Uh, I think network is a bit bad. It's taking it's like taking a bit of time uh, now. This load brings you. So we're at the back end of our website and we we'll go to the left panel, we we'll click on our pages to give us the different pages to work on, to work on, on our website. Uh, and we'll just wait for it to load and now we can see the different pages that we have on this website. In this instance, we know that uh, our events, upcoming events are always on our home page, which is the front page of our website. And we over on the home page and we click on the edit with Elementor so that we can start um, working on editing that uh, particular website. Uh, we wait for that to, do, to load up. Uh, we can start editing, uh, adding events or editing several events. So when it loads, before it loads, I, I would just like to say here yeah, that um, if what you get on this loaded page is not the same on your website, you can easily reach out to us and we'll update it to <laughs> this particular format so that you can easily begin to add your events because we make we made a couple of changes on how we structure the websites that we currently have to reflect uh, reflect that. So th there are some of the websites that do not have the same particular format, but you can always reach out to our admin and they reach out to us and we'll work on that for you. Yeah. So like I said earlier, uh, It's similar to what we have the banner, we have the welcome message and all that service time. Now, with the new model of what they were implementing of coming events here, so you have your coming event. So if you want to add an event, as usual, you go to the pencil um, icon on that event. When you over on it, you see the pencil icon and you click on the pencil icon. You observe that at the left hand panel, you can see uh, different items. And these items have dates of different events that are currently being displayed. So, all you need to do is to add another item. You can add a fresh item, see a different date has been created. So, on that date, you enter the date of the event, let's say 1st June. 2021, for instance, 21. You can enter the title of the event. Let's say prayer meeting. Prayer meeting, for instance. Now you can enter the description, whatever description you have. You can just type it there, or you can copy and paste from a Word document, and you can have it there. And if we give it a while, you can see that it's showing up on the front end of the website. Now you can see that we have a prayer meeting, we have this. Now you observe that there is no image here unlike the other ones that we see. So if you come back to this left panel, you can see content and you can see image. So click on the image tab and you can select any image that you need from your media gallery or as usual you can upload you can upload from your computer. Or in this instance, I will just select from my media gallery and insert it. Go back to that event. 
you just give it a while for it mm -hmm. for it to show up. Excuse me. If it does, yeah. Just taking taking some time for the image to load up. Once the image loads up, we we'll see it shown here. Like, yeah, okay, we have it loaded already. We can go to this and now we can see the image and every other details that we've repeated. We can see it show up for that particular event. So this is how to create events for your website. And as I said earlier, if your website do not have that this particular type of uh, image, of events tab. You can reach out to us and we will update it for you. Thank you for watching.